This is Jeff Alton, Big Game Hunter. Welcome to Job Search Radio. Are you looking for a new job or interested in leveling up? Job Search Radio is your go-to resource for insider tips on job hunting and growing your career. Here's your host, Jeff Altman. Good morning. It's Jeff Alpin, the Big Game Hunter. It's Monday morning. I'm the head coach for Job Search Coaching HQ.com. Welcome to Job Search Radio. You know, there's a lot of great features in LinkedIn. And one of them that people have been asking about is the apply within LinkedIn apply with LinkedIn feature. And they ask me, should I use it? What's the benefit? What's the disadvantage? And that's what this show is about, is using that feature, whether you should use that feature. So I hope you find it helpful. And if you do, please give the show five stars on iTunes, Stitcher, or any place else that you download podcasts from. It helps other people discover the show. And I also want to remind you, please... Please come join me at JobSearchCoachingHQ.com. I'd love to help you in more detail and help you find work more quickly. So with that, let's get going. Now, there's a feature on LinkedIn called Apply with LinkedIn. And, you know, people have asked me, should you use this function to apply for a job? Let me kind of walk you through what a recipient receives at the time you use this feature. And let's see if you can figure out my thoughts. Now, first of all, it delivers your name. It provides you, provides them with an email address and phone number. The headline beneath your name, your employment job titles, just the title, no details. And that includes both your current and past employment, no details. Your education, but just the names of the colleges or universities you attended. Recommendations, how many people have recommended you, but doesn't include recommendation details. How many connections you have, that's what's delivered to people. Do you think that really makes a case for your candidacy for most positions you apply for? Personally, I don't because there's no information there other than you know, very, very basic LinkedIn stuff. Name, that line underneath your name, contact information, where you've been working, where you have worked in the past, et cetera, et cetera. This does nothing for you. It does nothing for the employer to figure out whether you're someone who could actually do the job that you're submitting your profile for. Like with Indeed, it's a flawed service. It offers speed, like you can do this right then and there, but it doesn't really help you because there's nothing tailored to your presentation to represent how well you can do this job. Even if they included that description under under each of your jobs, it would do so much more for you because it would provide some information to an employer. But this does nothing. Indeed does more, but it's inadequate. It provides the same ease of submission, but it's the same resume you uploaded to, to Indeed that's sent out to every job over and over and over again. And like the broken watch that's right twice a day, it's going to accurately represent you. However, more often than not, it's going to inaccurately represent your candidacy because the fact of the matter is you're not just an accountant for the sake of argument who has done such and such. There's a nuance there as well. You're not just an engineer who's done such and such. There are nuances that are required for each job. Everything needs to be tailored when you send it to a hiring manager to an applicant tracking system, to an HR person, to demonstrate how your experience fits. Apply with LinkedIn just doesn't let you do it. If anything, it causes employers to have to reach out to you, and they're just too busy to do it. They're going to respond by saying, thanks for your uh, submitting your profile. Send me a resume. It defeats the purpose, right? So that's today's show. I hope you found it helpful. I hope you learned something from it as well. And if you did, come over to JobSearchCoachingHQ.com. There's a lot there that you can watch, 
listen to or read that's going to help you find work more quickly. In addition, you can ask me questions, get answers from other people as well. There's a lot there that will help you with your search. Monthly or quarterly membership, come on over and join. I look forward to helping you. Hope to see you here soon. Have a great day. Take care. If you would like to have Jeff give you advice about your job search, you'll love JobSearchCoachingHQ.com. This site has all of Jeff's books and guides to job hunting available free. The ability to have Jeff answer your questions, plus podcasts and videos that will help you with all the different parts of a job search, including writing a winning resume and cover letter, great answers to interview questions, how to negotiate effectively, whether you want an easy way or want to get tough, plus a community of people like you who you can get advice from. The site, again, is JobSearchCoachingHQ.com. That's JobSearchCoachingHQ.com.